Hello, Internet. I'm Matt Guff from House.com, and this is a 2020 LibTech Box Knife Ted Bortland Wide Snowboard. Uh, Ted and Jesse Burton actually kind of share the wide width versions of the box knife. Uh, there's branding of Ted Bortland on uh, the 160, and the 157 wide is actually kind of Jesse Burtner's. They both have a waist width of 262 in the middle. Uh, but overall, this is a great deck for anyone who has size 11 feet and larger. Uh, the last thing that you want when you snowboard is to catch your toes and your heels on your boots on the snow and have you fall. Uh, that's, no one likes doing that, and that's why there's wide width versions like this one right here. Overall, the box knife is a park deck that still kind of falls within the all mountain freestyle categories. It still has precision control and of course power, but it's just a little bit softer than your average style snowboard. Now, it's for basically anyone. Um, you know, beginners can get on this thing and still have a fun time, but a lot of people who ride it tend to be intermediate to advanced level in ability. Uh, it is a true twin board. It has, you know, the same shape nose and tail, so you can ride it this way or this way. It's going to feel the same. It does feature a centered style stance. But one thing that really makes this board great, specifically for moving, maneuvering around really fast and setting up quick for jibs and jumps, is its short running length. Uh, the contact points of these things are actually fairly close together uh, for the overall length of the board. So the nose and tail are actually fairly long, have a nice gradual style sweep. It's easy to make this board kind of do what you want when you're setting up for tricks. And it does feature a C3 profile shape. That's a camber dominant profile that gives the board lots of pop, lots of high ollie power, but it still has the looseness of a rocker board in between the feet. The shapes of the C3 means that overall it's camber. It has a kind of a camber style arc with a mild rocker that's raised up uh, in between the feet with camber underneath each foot to the contact points. It's actually, a, a, it's a lot of fun. But with that comes a kind of little bit softer of a flex rating than your average board, about a four. So uh, the box knife, this one, and the box scratch are fairly similar, uh, pretty much identical besides the nose and tail shape and the profile shape, the reason that this one is just a little bit stiffer, one notch above, is because of that C3 profile shape. Um, the box knife does have an awesome original power plus style construction, meaning that there's Aspen and Polonia style woods in the wood core, that's Biax fiberglass on bottom to make the board more maneuverable, and of course Triax glass on top to give it a little bit more energy, and to make it strong, there's actually an internal bird sidewall in combination with that ultra high molecular weighted style sidewall. And then, you know, the thing that really stands out, of course, about the LibTech box knife is uh, the serrated knife-like blade edges. Not everyone gets to ride really uh, soft snow all the time. So if you ride in firm conditions, you're in the park, you gotta ride away out of icy landing, uh, those manufactured edges will help you to grip uh, on that firm snow. Uh, this is a really great board. Again, I really like uh, the sh nose and tail style shape and I like how the, the contact length is actually fairly short too. Again, this is uh, the LibTech a box knife snowboard. This is the wide version. Comes in a 157 and a 160. You can check them both out at thehouse.com. I select the link below in the description. Leave a comment or a question. Let me know what you think of this thing here. Subscribe to the channel there. Check out more vids there. And hopefully I'll see you guys around.